DMT. It's my baby mama, I'm on child support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coke. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, I'm on child support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coke. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. Baby Mama Terrace. 
BMT. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies. And doing setups. Mm. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. Almost y'all support. Can't see my kids. kids. So I stay in cold. cold. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. She be riding Lexus. Lexus. Find the sugar daddies. Mm. And doing setups. Wow. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. Almost y'all support. Oh. Can't see my kids. kids. So I stay in cold. cold. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. She be riding Lexus. Lexus. Find the sugar daddies. Oh. And doing setups. Mm. Riding around, trying to play the role, that's innocent with an evil soul. In public, wearing fake hair holes, behind closed doors, she rocked them horns. I moved on, she wanna teach me a lesson. Can't see my kids, man, man, I'm stressing. Couldn't see my son to give me his present. She got married to teach me a lesson. Telling people she did nothing wrong. Knowing that well since I moved on. Thought that money would keep me home. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah, bitch, I'm gone. I don't know what you lost your mind. Try to say my name, but I know your kind. Stay to my dead beat, bitch, you lying. Fighting in court, man, man, I'm trying. To be a father to my kids. She focus on the wrong shit Worrying about another bitch Instead of us called co parents Put my kids in grown folks' business Telling them lies, bitch, bitch, you wicked Split personality, oh yeah, you twisted Never thought I'd go through this It's my baby mama, almost y'all some hope Can't see my kids, so I stay in cold It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus Finding sugar daddies and doing setups It's my baby mama, almost y'all some hope can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in coat. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, find the sugar daddies, and doing setups. All stand, please. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. This Honorable Court now stands adjourned, sign it, I, God save the state and this Honorable Court. Yeah. You may be seeing this, motherfucker. Shout out to the Bay Mama Terrace Bounty Hunters. I'm your host, Mr. Palmer. And what we're going to talk about today is the unfortunate situation that occurred last week where a nine-year-old and a 13-year-old brother and sisters. The brother was 13 and the sister was nine years old. And both of them committed suicide together because allegedly they were being physically and verbal abused for years by their own mother. You know, the one they call Mother Earth, Queen, Goddess, and so on, by the name of Monica Duckworth. And of course, it's not on news, at least I ain't seen it on the news, but it's all on social media on Facebook because the older two siblings put it all out there about how they was alienated. The older two siblings was alienated as well as the father for seven years by this baby mama terrorist. And they went through verbal and physical abuse with their mama. Monica Duckworth, allegedly, and the husband was there. So evidently, he ain't give a shit. It's whatever she say. And the last time I heard of them doing a GoFundMe, she did not tell them that they committed suicide. They did not find out through her. And she still don't talk to them. And the children are still laying in the morgue. 
while she try to fix her image up back up. You can't make this shit up. You definitely cannot make this shit up. All I can say is wow. Like I say, this shit, I'm not even surprised. This this shit don't it don't even don't even amazes me because a lot of this shit's been going on for a long time and people don't talk about it. You only hear about it when it's a major story. When all you gotta do is look up statistics and stats and you'll see uh who's the most best fit versus the father or the mother. But uh we're gonna definitely talk about this. Definitely gonna talk about this. I want to give a shout out to um, Antisocial from the UK with the five dollar super sticker. I appreciate you, my sister. Everybody tune in. Definitely hit these like, you know, hit the likes up and 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 please share because the beginning of the uh, the intro already got a, a dislike, which is all good because they condone this type of behavior. They don't mind children committing suicide because uh no one is doing nothing about it or ain't nothing they could do and they're going through the verbal and physical abuse by their own mother so without further ado i would definitely let good old reverend x speak his piece because without your dislike it won't be nothing at all i don't give a fuck what you think bitch not at all want to give a shout out to to my boy um Game of Lives Matter, the bailiff up in this bitch. Also want to give a shout out to, to my boy Supreme 10, who's been a member for two months. Shout out to the other members and everything. Uh, this week, video will be on the channel for the members. And I appreciate y'all to the fullest, sticking in with me and everything else. Like I said, this shit is real. And this shit's gonna continue to happen, but we have to definitely uh, spread awareness. This shit does exist, and it's always existed. But unfortunately, government daddy gonna always get a custody to the ones who they see fit to deem to redeem their fifty-one billion dollar crime bill. You know, so uh, let's definitely get them likes up. We got fifty-three people in here. Let's definitely get them likes up. Um, because when I get a dislike, you gotta multiply that by 10. You know, um, anybody wanna donate, y'all know the super chat. But if you wanna cash out where I can get 100% versus getting, what, 60%, you know, deeply appreciated. I'm definitely trying to get that couch to a love seat. And I've been running with child support all day today. And, you know, that shit is very hard. It's a hard job out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I hope everybody's doing cool. And um who sent me this article? I believe it was um it was a it was definitely a sister that sent to me on Facebook. And I just couldn't believe it went on the news. I just couldn't believe it didn't hit no news or nothing. It's just been on social media. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. But what I do want to talk about first, the thumbnail. That's the uh, Bay Mom Terrace, the mother, and also um, the son and daughter. No, oh, that's they they real picture. Um, what I want to talk about is before we get into the Facebook where the older brother calls all this shit out. Definitely want to talk about the um, the suicide. Suicide risks abuse teen girls. I want to talk about that. And then a couple of articles I want to talk about when it comes to suicide. Now, this one was very interesting. Remember, we was uh talking about last last week when we was going over to, uh Kevin Samuels talk about basically baby mamas, baby mama tears create baby mama tears daughters. Did y'all know it's an article? back in 2018 where the suicide risks and abused teen girls linked to mother-daughter conflict. 
This is the uh, latest y'all can find, October 18, 2018. Uh, this is from University of Rochester. And the suicide risks and abuse teen girls linked to mother-daughter conflict. Hmm. I'm going to read this. I'm going to make it bigger. And just ride along with me. It says, among adolescents who suffered maltreatment as children, as children, not all entertain suicidal thoughts. So what can we uh, learn about those who do? Researchers at the University of Rochester's Mount Hope Family Center has found an answer by looking at the relationships between teenage girls and their mothers. In the study published by the journal Suicide and Life-Threatening Behavior, the researchers identified a stark correlation between both poor mother-daughter relationships and high degrees of conflict with the likelihood of suicidal thoughts. Our findings suggest that the disruptions to a positive mother-teen relationship are one reason why children who experience abuse or neglect are at risk for suicide as teens, says lead author Elizabeth Handley, a Mount Hope Research Assistant Professor. The findings highlight the importance of relationship-based interventions for vulnerable youth. Now, this is talking about the mother and daughter relationship. The team tested three distinct variables that linked earlier maltreatment in, child in childhood to suicidal thoughts for adolescent girls. One, mother-daughter relationship quality. Two, mother-daughter conflict. And three, adolescent depressive symptoms. We know from decades of research that a warm, nurturing, and consistent relationship between mothers and their children is critical for many aspects of healthy development. This could, continues to be true in, even in adolescence when teens spend more time with their friends and less time at home with family, says Hanley. Let's go back to what this person said. We know from decades of research that a warm, nurturing, and Consistent relationship between mothers and their children, I mean boy and girl, is critical for many aspects of he healthy development. But they sit back and say that this shit ain't cause of uh, lack of nurturing, lack of warmth, lack of teaching. Ain't that who we supposed to get it from, the mothers? And they said they've been, this is from, from decades of research. This ain't just talking about the black community either. But then when you call out and say, well, baby mama tears come from bad mothers or mothers who got self-hate and they went through this same bullshit, this same bullshit, lack of warm nurturing and having mother and daughter issues, they say, you're lying, your mama black when they're actually miserable and fucked up. But let me continue. The study includes 164 socioeconomically disadvantaged, depressed adolescent girls, average age 14, and their mothers. Of the adolescents, 66.3% were African American, 21.3% white, and 14% Latina. So let's look at that's going back right here. The study include 164 socioeconomically disadvantaged, depressed adolescent girls, average age 14, and their mothers. Of the adolescents, 66.3% were African American, 21.3% are white, and 14% are Latino. Now, we're supposed to be 13% of the population. And I believe white people are 73% of the population. I don't know about the Latinos. But why is we 66.3 and they 21.3? Can't make this shit up.
So this is why we got a lot of baby mama Terry's queens. Fake ass queens. And I told you this, when it comes to these baby mama Terry, this is a, uh, they, they, they bred it this way. It's in their bloodline. They're not born this way. They raised this way. And one of the reasons due to um, being raised by our baby mama terrorists. Maybe that's why I got the dislike. Maybe because they knew that I was going to come out with some stats and talk about just just uh, teens who want to commit suicide. Not necessarily they did it, but had the thoughts of suicide. 66.3. This is back in 2018. This ain't 1978. This ain't 1965. Just five years ago. Or what? Four years, uh, three years ago, actually. Three years ago. I'm my bad. Three years ago. But let's continue. According to the re, uh, Rochester's researchers, relationship based interventions are a pro promising approach to depression treatment for maltreated youth, such as interpersonal psychotherapy for adolescents, which focuses on the interpersonal context of depression. Attached based family therapy has also proven useful in reducing suicide, suicidal thoughts amongst teenagers by strengthening the function of the of the family and the parent adolescent attach attachment relationship. That's the problem right here. They want to attach attachment based family therapy. Now, you know, when it comes to the black community that but 80% of mothers are single mothers so where's the family family therapy consists of mother father children but since it's 66.3 percent when it comes to mothers and daughters the therapy is most likely the mother and the daughter maybe the son too how are you going to strengthen the, fun the uh, functioning of the family when there's no fucking family? Because the father either alienated or the father's ran off. Or maybe it might be the one that say, hell, I'm going to abandon the family. Who knows? But y'all know when it comes to the majority of fathers who want to be fathers and that are alienated and fighting and all that, but of course say, nah, she the most best fit regardless of what the fuck you say and your proof and everything else. But then they don't talk about this. They don't talk about this. It's just, like I said, this is a daughter, this is a daughter and mother relationship. This ain't talking about the son. And a lot of you women I have talked to have told me that, yeah, I had a bad relationship with my mother. And a lot of y'all who had issues with the mother admitted that she was a baby mama tears and, and she kept the father out the picture. Just like a lot of you brothers who said mother kept the father out the picture. And if, if she didn't, he went around, but she took all her depression or issues or whatever she had going on against you and beat you because you come from your father. Let's continue. Maltreatment includes emotional, physical, and sexual abuse, and emotional and physical neglect. Amongst the study participants, 51.8 of adolescent, adolescents indicated a history of at least one form maltreatment. So they're talking about emotional, physical, and sexual, and emotional and physical neglect. Remember we said about the 2001 to 2006, it was easy to dissect it when it comes to mothers of all races. 1.4 million, over 1.4 million neglect and physical abuse. 1.4 million. And when it comes to fatalities, it came out to 17, over seven, I think it was 1756. So let's continue. As expected, the researchers found that the race of suicidal thoughts and, rec and, rec and recurrent thoughts of death were higher amongst teenage girls with a, hi with a history of malpractice, I'm sorry, maltreatment than those without. 11.7% of non-maltreated treatment, I'm sorry, 
11.7% of non maltreated depressed adolescents indicated suicidal ideation compared to 26.8% of maltreated depressed adolescents. According to the Center of Disease Control and Pre uh, Prevention, y'all know what that is, CDC. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among adolescents aged 10 to 24 years old in the United States. In parentheses, again, accidental death is the leading cause. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among adolescents aged 10 to 24 in the United States. Accidental death is leading cause. That's number one. Adolescents, girls in general, are more likely than their male counterpart to have suicidal thoughts. Given to scientific evidence that the more severe and pervasive the suicidal thoughts, the greater the likelihood of suicide, suicide attempt. Understanding the cause of suicidal thoughts is critical for effective youth suicide prevention and intervention design. The new study fits into a long track record developed by Rochester researchers who are trying to understand and prevent suicide among targeted populations in the United States. In addition to the work at the Mount Hope Family Center, the university's medical center, Center for, for the Study and Prevention of Suicide, CSPS, and its Injury Control Research Center for Suicide Prevention have been one of the nation's leading research program, the CSPS, for nearly a quarter of a century. So that's a quarter of a century. That's 25 years. To that, together, they are known for their research on the risks of suicide amongst the elderly, the military, and those experiencing intimate partner violence and substance abuse. The Mount Hope study, which received funding from the National Institute of Mental Health, NIMH, was conducted by researchers at the University of Rochester's Mount Hope Family Center and the University of Minnesota. Lead author Hanley was joined by Mount Hope's Tangeria Adams, Judy Todd Manley, and Cherie Toth, and Minnesota Dante uh, Cicchetti. Mount Hope has been at the forefront of studying and designing interventions for maltreated children for the last 35 years while trying to prevent child abuse in at-risk at risk populations, recognize the center's research prowess and uh, effective community-based programs, the National Institute of Health, Eunice Kennedy Shriver, National Institute of Child Health and Human Development, that's NICHD, recently awarded a Mount Hope and University of Minnesota multidisciplinary team, most of whom are co-authors co of the present study and $8.39 million grant to create a National Center for Child Maltreatment Studies. If you need help to talk uh, talk for yourself or someone else, please contact National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or call 1-800-273-TALK. That's 8255. There's some deep shit right here, ain't it? So when y'all men deal there was somebody got issues or somebody that's uh a woman that want to fight somebody i don't know ex-wife or baby, uh, baby mama whoever ex-girlfriend they want to fight they want to take whatever going on out on you that's this is one of the reasons why and i guarantee you nine out of ten they had thoughts of suicide you can't make this shit up that mother daughter relationship You cannot make this shit up. But see, people ain't, people ain't gonna talk about it. Not this. Not this at all. I 
I'm gonna read um one last article and then we're gonna go to the Facebook and look at what the uh older sibling wrote exposing the baby mama terrace. This is um this from PBS News Hour. No racial or ethnic group has been spared from this rising rate amongst young Americans, according to the federal data. So this from this is all race. It's not no particular race. It says that youth suicide rates are on the rise in the United States. This was done also in October 18, but this was in 2019. Suicide rates are on the rise among young Americans of all race races, part of a grim national trend that has contribute, contributed to lower life expectancy, expectancy overall, according to new federal data. But a separate study suggests that there are racial disparities in youth suicidal behavior due to doing great part because some children lack access to vital resource. And that's true. While suicide was the 10th most common cause of death among Americans of all ages in 2017, it was the second leading cause of death among young Americans ages 15 to 24, according to the new data released Thursday from the National Center for Health Statistics and the Center Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. And no racial or ethnic group has been spared in this rising rate, says Sally Curtin, a statistic statistician with the National Center for Health Statistics who has studied these suicide trends for years and served as a reporter, as the report's lead author. The community at large needs to pay attention and figure out what's going on, what's driving these trends, she said. According to Heather Kelly, a clinical psychiatrist with the American Psychological Association, there is an urgent need for more research to seek out evidence based to prevent suicide and help those with who struggle with thoughts of self-harm, especially among veterans, the LB, the alphabet community, youth, and young adults. The results of another study published in the journal Pediatrics earlier this week suggest that black boys and girls are more likely than their peers in other racial and ethnic groups to report suicidal attempts. And that revelation has mental health experts working to those numbers around and further tragedy. So on here they saying that black they suggesting that black boys and, and girls are more likely than their peers in the other race and ethnic groups to report suicidal attempts and that um Revelation has mental health experts working to turn those numbers around and prevent further tragedy. Now, we just saw in the other one, it said, what, a 66%? And that was just in girls. Now, they went to off the boys. 6% mother and daughter. Now, check this out. A shocking rise in suicide attempts. Between 2000 and 2007, the suicide rate among youth ages 10 to 14 hovered around hovered around 6.8 deaths per 100,000 people. Then the rate curved upward, reaching the rate of 10.6 deaths per 100,000 by 2017, a 56% increase in less than two decades. That's a big jump. To some, the rise big, some basic question. How well do we understand what behavior and youth signal suicide risk? And is the mental health community well positioned to help? Michael Lindsley, Michael Lindsley, Lindsay, wanted to explore the prevalence of suicidal behavior among teens, whether race play a role in their outcomes. Leslie, 
who directs the Mixed Silver Institute for Poverty Policy and Research at the Silver School of Social Work at New York University, has worked for years to understand the ways race, class, and income shape people's access to resources and quality of life. To find an answer, Lindsay immersed himself in a massive amount of data from the CDC's National nationally representative Young Behavior Risk Survey, which tracked the responses of more than 198,000 high school students between 1991 and 2017. High school students who participated in all 50 states and the District of Columbia filled out self-administered questionnaires and their behavior and health, including drug use, sexual behavior, abuse, and more. The survey does not include youth who have dropped out of high school. To offer insight about teen suicidal ideation, i.e. thoughts about one's own suicide, a young person taking the survey is asked, during the past 12 months, did you ever seriously consider attempting suicide? When Lindsley's team analyzed decades of federal data documenting suicide behavior, suicidal behavior, they noticed a distinct and disturbing pattern. They looked at reported suicidal uh, ideation, plans, attempts, and injury by attempts. Overall, nearly one out of five adolescents has said they are thinking about suicide between 1991 and 2017, according to uh, Lindsley's study. These findings, these findings suggest that continued concern and attention regarding suicidal behavior amongst high school age youth warranted. Lindsley and his team wrote, note there has been more attention given to campaigns to reduce youth suicide in the United States over the last decade. Amongst black youth, suicidal attempts increased by 73%. I want y'all to see that again. Amongst black youth, suicidal attempts increased by 73%. Among all U.S. adolescents, self-reported suicidal ideation and plans have dropped in the years they study. But amongst black youth, suicidal attempts increased by 73%. That's a huge jump. It's significant, significant because suicidal attempts are the biggest risk factors linked to dying by suicide. Systematic problems such as racism, poverty, and police-involved shootings that involve black victims may have Driven these numbers, especially amongst youth black Americans, Lindsley said. He also said that the news outlet had played a role in endangering hopelessness among black youth in the way the African American community is covered. What can be done to save lives? While more research is needed, Lindsley said black youth need improved access to mental health treatment. Multiple schools in low-income neighborhoods may be forced to share a single mental health care provider, straining their ability to serve everyone's needs. Historically, many Black families are relied on church and prayer to combat mental illness, which, while potentially therapeutic, might not replace trained medical care. Lindsay also said that often stigma around needing and getting help has muted the potential for more open conversations. These factors combine to manifest the higher rates of suicidal attempts. So they're saying historically black families relied on the church prayer to combat the combat mental illness, which potentially therapeutic might not. Let me get that right. Might not replace training medical care. Ain't that something? And even to this day, a lot of us rely on the church, the same church that don't talk about what's going on in the streets, what's going on in the public. They just passed that collection plate around, majority of them. That shit crazy. But we sure run to that Reverend Knight, don't we? Yeah, shout out to Supreme Ten for the $20 uh, donation. Appreciate you, my brother. Shout out to Lil Big Nate for checking in. What's up, Lil Big Nate? Subscribe to that brother. 
Kelly, who was not involved in the Lindsay study, said that black youth often are confronted with a lack of uh, readily available, culturally appropriate, and evidence-based suicide prevention options, coupled with a severe shortage of diverse and trained mental health workforce. Until such investments and changes are made, many black youth simply are not connected to treatment in ways that are necessary to combat their mental he uh, health struggles. To turn it around, structural changes needed, Kelly said, including greater investment in suicide prevention and intervention strategies that are tailored to the needs of black children and teens, improve access to availability of mental health services, stricter gun laws that gov govern firearm storage and more diverse workforce force contributing to mental health services and research and a better understanding of sensitive racial disparities in the youth suicide. Lindsay, or Lindsay, suggested that by increasing access to in-school mental health providers, schools will, uh, could provide a vital lifeline and help reduce behavior that leads to a rising rate of deaths of despair. Until such investments and changes are made, many black youth simply are not connected to treatment and the ways that are necessary to combat their mental health struggles. Then they said, if you or someone you know has talked about comp uh, contemplating suicide, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah, this, this, uh, this definitely go deep. Shout out to MPI for the 99 cent super stick. Appreciate you, my brother. And yeah, here's the link right here. You know, anybody, my bad. Anybody, you know, that's feeling like this, because this shit is this shit is real now. This, but this time about our, our youth, our teens, you know. And this would uh it leads me to the situation at hand with the two children that uh committed suicide together. What is that link at? Because now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the older brother's Facebook page. The older brother name is Marquise M. Griff. In parentheses, they got, uh, he got Randall. Now, this is the, his brother and his little sister. He was 13 years old and she was nine years old. And um, this is the older brother, and they have an older sister. So I'm going to scroll down to where it uh, actually starts, at least from what i seen. And we'll go from there. Let me see what this is. Um, this is what he posted. This is October the 28th. Uh, it happened on the 23rd, but when I go back to the, I only see October 20th and then on the 23rd, I see Willie. Um, then it goes to here. This is post on the 28th. Let me see if I can make this bigger. I'm going to read this out loud. Um, He said, this the oldest brother, he said that uh, I all, I've i always been and I'll always be your eldest brother. Y'all will always be my little babies and ain't nothing, no one, nobody can do about it. Uh, the brother name is um, Alvin Marquise Brown. That's the, uh, the brother, the younger brother right here. They call him Donnie. And you have uh, Monique, Makaya, Dash and Brown, uh, Kaya 
or Kaya. And he posts on the 28th. Now, this right here. I want y'all to see this. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Okay, cool. Now, this is the baby mama Terrace who um who's getting the getting the blame for why these two innocent children did what they did. This is the older brother. This is the brother right here, Marquise Emma Griff, and that's the older sister. I'm gonna read what he said. This 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 one right here uh has 12,000 shares, 6.1 thousand likes, 131 comment. He posted on the 29th of October. And what he said was, we must tell the truth and shame the devil. That she was and is the worst thing that ever happened to us. Talking about this mother right here. She told us she wished she never had us. She told us she wished we were dead. Alice, she got her wish. Notice we were barely smiling. We were being tortured and crying for help, but no one believed us. And now it's too late. My baby brother and sister killed themselves, but they, they'd they already been dead on the inside for years, all because of her. Hashtag child abuse. Hashtag suicidal prevention. Hashtag see something, say something. He also said, please help choose, uh, please help us close this chapter of this lifetime nightmare by finally putting our babies to rest. So, you know, they do have a GoFundMe. Uh, I'm going to click on the second secondary cash app right here. Uh, transparent notice. This is my personal cash app. So the money will go into my account, but will all be given to my dad for the burial, et cetera, et cetera. I will publish a list of all cash app funds. So everyone knows the money I receive. So I click on the cash app. I mean, the GoFundMe, not the cash app. Shout out to Jen. Um, Jen says she just found found my channel. I appreciate you. Thank you, sister. Um, right now, double, the title said "Double Suicide," brother and sister. They look to get twenty five thousand dollars. Sixteen thousand. So far, they got sixteen thousand three hundred twenty uh, twenty nine. Total four hundred thirty five donations. Um, I read what it says. It said Marquise McGriffs is the organizer of this fundraiser. That's the older brother. Uh, this was created four days ago. On October 23rd, 2021, Alvin Marquise Brown and Monique McKay, uh and Brown ended their lives. This double suicide have, has left our family in a bind, and we need support to lay their precious bodies to rest. We never expect them to leave the world so young, and especially not at the time, uh, the same time via such a terrible way. Please help us. Now, you know what? I'm going to uh, read the background. I'm going to tell y'all something. Like, um, some background. Donnie. Um, wait a minute. They told me it was 13 and 9. Now, I hear it say 20 and 16, but on the... I was told 13 and 9. I could be wrong. Now, here's say Donnie, which is Alvin, 20 years old, and Kayla Monique, um, 16, suffered abuse their entire lives. Donnie and Kayla had two older siblings from their mom, but she kept them separated for the past. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Had two older siblings from their mom, but she kept them separated for the past seven years. So the older siblings was alienated from seeing the younger siblings for seven years. Seven years. She used alienation to further her abuse and manipulation. Ain't that what we talk about when we talk about these baby mama tears? They, you know, alienate the father out the picture. And if they and, if, and then they alienate the grandparents out the picture. And if the other kids will go to go, uh, if they go against the cold, they alienate them kids, the adult kids or the uh, older siblings out the picture as well. Donnie and Kayla's mom is a public school teacher and her husband is a police officer did not tell y'all that these baby mama tears the ones i said the worst baby mama tears not the ones that that's on welfare link card section they not ain't shit they're a piece of shit they're a piece of shit now they'll set up a failure too but again the ones i tell you that cause the most harm 
is these motherfucker, these motherfucker school teachers, the one with these degrees, the ones that make six figures, the ones that get licenses. And I'm going to tell you why again. The reason why I say these are the worst big mama terrorists because they have a shield to hide behind. Now, you hear something like this saying, okay, two kids commit uh, suicide because the mother was abusing them physically and, ver and uh, verbally. And they trying to tell people, tell people, she's a school teacher. She's been a school teacher for over 15 years. Why would she do something like that? I don't believe that because at the school, she's nice. She's a she, she's there for the students. She cares. She 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 puts in fourth effort and everything else. Them kids just just mad because they can't get their way. They just spoil brats. See, and when you go to court fight, they be like, I'm a school teacher, I'm a nurse, I'm a doctor. I got my degree. I wouldn't dare do nothing like that. That's what I mean by they are the worst because they have a shield to have behind and they got money to fight to set you up for failure. They will they will blow their money up for a couple more hundred dollars if they can get it from you. Now, the husband is a stepfather. See, this this is the simple force. He's a police officer. He's a police officer. See, this? so you're not dealing with a uh, 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 baby mama Terry that's on welfare, ain't getting stuff from government daddy, but she still got government daddy to ride with her. You know how that go. Here I come to save the day. See, that's what I'm telling y'all. A baby mama tear is coming in all forms. A baby mama tear is coming in all colors. A baby mama tears have good jobs. They have good careers. Hell, they can have their own business. It doesn't matter. You have high value baby mama tears. The mom's a public school teacher. And her husband is a police officer. Instead of protecting and serving these poor kids, they, they abuse them and alienate them from people who really care. So on here, they saying the uh, husband was involved too. Because see, all through the uh, the brother's timeline, he was saying the mother. So on here, they saying the husband as well. But he ain't no better because if he sat back and, and watched it and ain't say shit and turned his back like, oh, ain't got nothing to do with me, ain't my kids, whatever, he's just as guilty as she is. <laughs> Let me continue. Donnie and Kaya and their other siblings cried for help their entire lives, but no one helped. Mom always told us she wanted us to die, kill ourselves, and wish we were never born. They got this in black bold letters. Now check this out, y'all. Here we go. Our father always fought for them by going to court, school boards, police department, and even child slash family services, but no one ever believed him. See what I'm trying to tell y'all? See what I'm trying to tell y'all? So when, when these motherfuckers come at y'all men and say, you, you ain't trying to be no father. You don't want to be a father. You just a deadbeat. You, you ain't fighting. This father right here, our father always fought for them by going to court, school board, police department, and even child slash family services, but no one ever believed him. You know why they didn't believe him? That's why. Not only that, not only the mama's a school teacher, but the husband is a police officer. What police officer that's supposed to uh, be law, supposed to follow the law, Supposed to serve and protect. He won't let that happen. He's an officer. He probably been also for twenty years and so on, so so on, so good record, good background, just like her. Because if you're a public teacher, you can't have no background, no record. So and that, and that's what I'm talking about. And, and and that's what I'm talking about. When a lot of fathers fight in court with receipts, text messages, and so on, they say, "I don't believe it," because you just mad because you're only getting every other weekend. Or you ain't seen your kids and you got to pay child support. So, again, I'm going to let Denzel speak for Malcolm X. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run on my See, so that's what I'm saying. The court system, government daddy, they, they the perpetrator. They the reason for all this. They allowed it to happen. They don't love. They do not love these kids, just like these baby mama terrorists and these simple forces do not love these kids. Now, the sad part about it, 
the father was was fighting and he tried to fight and they didn't believe him and all that stuff, they'll still say it's his fault because he didn't fight hard enough. Y'all remember the dude from New York to say he got cuz his kids might be run out of money, uh find some more money somewhere and all that bullshit. You know, in New York where he said that if you're not married, you got equal uh custody, which that's a motherfucking lie. See, this is why I continue to do what I do. This is why I get a dislike when it first happened because these one of these baby mama tears who raised them, who were teachers and doctors and nurses and shit, who will side with these baby mama tears, who will sit back and say, no, nah, they wouldn't do nothing like that. I'm not going to believe him. He just mad. He just bitter. Who hurt you? Your mama black and so on. Seven years been separated from the father and the and the older siblings. But see, here's the thing, y'all. I'm not surprised she's a uh, school teacher. I'm not surprised at all. Y'all shouldn't even be surprised. Because a lot of them school teachers up in this day and age, these school teachers ain't shit. They have sex with students. They dress up like whores. Got the cleavage showing, but they teaching fifth graders, high schools, and all that shit. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised. Get pregnant by students and shit like that. But the difference is the women who teach us that fuck the students, they only get probation. The men's students, they get life and shit like that. See, moms, uh, the, the mother, I mean, the women teachers can play victim and say, well, he knew what was up. Where if it's the other way around, the girl who's having sex with the older guy, she didn't know no better. Yeah. Wrong one. <laughs> Ain't that something? Yep. Let's keep it going. I got to read this part again. Donnie, Kayla, and the other siblings, them the older ones, cried for help their entire lives, but no one helped. Mom always told us she want us to die, kill ourselves, and wish we were never born. I'm going to read it again. Our father always fought for them by going to court. School board police department, and even child slash family services, but no one ever believed him. Hmm. Donnie and Kaya, Kaya are dead as a result of years of physical abuse, sexual abuse, and emotional abuse to them and us, their older siblings. Now, the sexual abuse, again, I ain't seen nothing about sexual abuse until on here. I've been seeing physical and verbal abuse. So, now they saying on here they saying that it's been a result of years of physical abuse, sexual abuse, and emotional abuse to them and us, the older siblings. So now that makes me wonder: is it from the husband and the mother for all three, or is the husband doing the sexual and she's doing the physical and verbal, or are they all three doing? Are they both of them doing the same shit? Hmm. The pain was so unbearable. That they felt suicide was the only way to escape. Remember what we just read, y'all. When it comes to suicide, they they had that thought because one reason they, they think is the only way to escape. They can't deal with it no more. They go into the schools or the father going to school fighting. They telling him, I don't believe you. And then the people that they probably crying to, they saying, your mom's a school teacher. Why would she do something like this? I don't believe that. You just a spoiled brats. She buy you things. She she buy you clothes. She buy you what you need and all that shit. That's why I say these baby mama tears will, will spend all their money on their children. But yet the father's alienated and the child's manipulated. And they're going through abuse and everything mentally, physically, even spiritually. So that's why I say when these baby mama tears, you got something else spending all their money on their children. That's a front. They buying their kids off to keep their mouth shut. As long as that uh manipulate their mind, they not think about their dad because they getting all the hookups, the freebies, and they ain't gotta ask for it. You can't make this shit up. We, the older brother and sister, were able to escape the agony in 2014, but unfortunately, Donnie and Kayla were left behind to feel the wrath of our mom and her husband. Please help us put these innocent young people to rest. Our dad is doing all he can to move forward, but our mom is not communicating and he cannot do it alone. We can't let Donnie and Kayla, Kaya, continue to lay in the fridge. They deserve a proper burial such 
after such such a tra tragic life. Now, here's the thing. I told y'all, they still in the morgue. They still in the morgue to this day. So when it comes to them still sitting in the morgue, two things can happen on why they're still sitting there. One, they didn't have no life insurance on them two, two children. The mother didn't, whoever had cousins, which is the mother. She didn't have no life insurance on them. Or, 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 you know when you have life insurance and you commit suicide, that off the top, you don't get no money for suicides. If you commit suicide, automatically, that uh, life insurance automatically goes away. They do not cover you for suicide, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think I don't think the mother had insurance on them at all. Anyway, I'm not even gonna say that because of them committing suicide. That's why they don't have the money. I mean, that's why they don't have the insurance. I really believe she did not have insurance on them. Didn't give a fuck to have insurance on them. And now they sitting there more while she's trying to build her um, character up to try to play victim and so on. You can't make this shit up. Now, what he, uh, what, what they say is where the money will go. 10000 for two basic funeral home packages, $5,000 each. 15000 for one single burial plot for them to be buried together. But if we raise more, we can get two separate plots. We don't have actual costs for the actual church slash funeral services yet, but help with the funeral home and burial will be more than enough. We just need all the help we can get. Now, this is um, Marquise. That's the oldest sibling. That's his Facebook right here, which we own. Uh, this is the the uh, the sister. She's um, the second sibling, the older sister. This is a, a Twitter. And also, they even put down, if you're battling with suicide, uh, please contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Uh, if you suspect child abuse, please contact uh, Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline, 1 800 4 Child. That's 1 800 422 4453. And here's some uh, news report. Oh, wait a minute. They got it on the news, the local news. Let's check it out right quick before we go back. True Homestead. I don't know what that is. That must be. Okay, they just show. Let me see if there's any other pictures. No, nah, it's just it. Okay, no, nah, it's just, just this, but it ain't showing nothing else. Let me go back and go to the news. This this was in Homestead, home. Is that Florida? Yeah, it's Florida. Yeah, I agree. Some some preacher, some preacher should do it for free. But I don't know how, truthfully, I don't know how big this got because I didn't know it was on news. I just been seeing it on social media. Well, the uh, sister sent it to me. Uh, Simply a diva from Texas sent it to me, actually. Um, but we're going to read this out as well. For those who are in Florida, this is in Homestead, Florida. I never heard of a Homestead, Florida. Yes, this is the same situation. This is what, but y'all need to check this out because these baby mama terrorists do not love their kids. They would do anything to hurt the father and they would do anything to hurt anybody else that love these kids because they don't love these children. They don't. And these, I told you, these professors with the degrees make six figures, license, <laughs> and, 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 and got degrees and they use that as shit to hide behind. Well, let's, uh, let's see what they say. Homestead, Florida, WSVN. The discovery of two bodies in a homestead neighborhood has triggered a death investigation. According to Homestead Police, the bodies were found inside a resident lo uh, residence located in a community near Campbell Drive and Northeast 33rd Avenue Saturday afternoon. It remains unclear how they were related. Miami Day Police have taken over the investigation. So they ain't really talking about nothing. But that, so that was just really quick. I was going to say, anybody be talking about it like that? Anybody talking about it like that? So let me go um, back to see what else. Uh, that's really it as far as that go. Uh, but if y'all want to donate, 
you can just uh, type in double suicide brother sis, they'll pop up. Um, like I said, you just you just can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Mm. Let me see. Okay, now, like I say, you heard what he said in this. In this, um, I'm gonna go back up. You heard me say right here, notice we were barely smiling. We were being tortured and crying out for help, but no one believed us, and now it's too late. So if you look at them, they don't look happy at all. She like, hmm, she the only one smiling is this baby mama Terrace. The only one smiling, baby mama Terrace. The little boy, she trying to crack, but she can't. She, her and her is trying. He's frowned up, he's frowned up, like what the fuck? But she's cheesing. I told you, you can't make this shit up, man. But I, I, I get, I get, I get why, I get why people uh be in their feelings when I when they hear the intro because they know the truth when it come out. And you know what I say about the truth. Truth is what it is. These baby mama tears do not love their kids. I don't care what color they are. These motherfuckers will destroy a child to hurt the father. They do it because they hurt themselves because they had issues with their mama, went around their father, and so on, man. Now let's uh continue. Now here is the GoFundMe. Um we saw well, we saw that. We saw that already. Um, let me see more. Now he posted on the 29th. He said, Thanks, thanks to everyone for the calls, texts, messages, and prayers. The outpour of love is overwhelming. Our family. Would like to put our babies to rest, but the process is being held up by uh, dot dot dot. Mean I guess the uh, baby mama Ted's mother. It's been a week now, and there's no corroborations from blank 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 baby mama Terrace. But while we wait, Donnie and Kayla will want us to honor them by raising awareness of hashtag child abuse, hashtag Stockholm syndrome, and hashtag suicide prevention in helps of saving someone else. This is not just a single tragedy, but a hashtag double suicide stemming from years of abuse, manipulations, manipulation, lies, and gaslighting. See, these baby mama tears will go to school, go to work, go to their job, show their pictures, their kids every day, talking about what they doing, how they doing, all this shit. But this shit false. Or talking about how their lives are good and uh, the father's just mad. Look, Chief Cook. I was just mad and all that shit. See, gaslighting, that's, they, they, they definitely known for that. Don't stump yourself trying to find the words to say or make sense of it all. There are no words. This makes no sense. Just find peace in knowing that he knows all and he's always gets the glory. I hope we will have final arrangements settled soon, the elders. And of course, say please help uh, us close this chapter of this lifetime nightmare by finally putting our babies to rest. And as we talk about the uh, GoFundMe, the Cash App, um, you talking about, um, you know, it's going to his account. Uh, again, he posted the same thing. You know, help uh, bury my sister and brother, uh, my baby brother and sister. Let me see if I can click on that. Okay, see, so it's going to GoFundMe. We saw that already. But it say help us. Bury my brother's uh, baby brother and baby sister. Today we went to the graveyard and funeral home. The costs are astronomical. But with you, we can bring this chapter of this lifetime nightmare to a close. It's too late to save them, but we can give them the rest they deserve. It's been a week already. Let's kiss them goodnight. Hashtag double suicidal. I mean, double suicide. Hashtag child abuse. Okay, October the 30th. It's been a week. She never called me or my sister to tell us our baby siblings are dead, meaning the baby mama tears. Monica Duckworth is her name. Remember that name? Monica Duckworth. Ain't worth shit. Monica Duckworth. It's been a week. She never called me or my sister to tell us our baby siblings are dead. She never called my daddy to tell him that his children are dead. She never called my grandma. To tell her that her that grandchildren, tell her that grandchildren are dead. 
See, that's what I'm saying. They alienate you from the father. They alienate children from the grandparents. And if the older children are not going and they're not going against the cold, they're going to alienate them too. Let me continue. They're still in the morgue. And instead of helping us to get them out, she's spreading lies and trying to repair her image. Sound like the baby mama tears I know. I always quick try to get that image to look good because they don't give a fuck about them kids. It's the image. She's trying to get, get her image updated so motherfuckers can not go against her and believe that these kids are just spoiled, rotten, mad, and, you know, she did the best she could as a mother. You know, teacher, of course. He said in big words, we know the truth. We lived it. But it ain't about us. It's about them. Let's get them buried. Thanks to everyone who stepped up. Please keep giving and sharing and the GoFundMe. Let's raise awareness of this double suicide that happened because of child abuse. This one, somebody tried to post. Somebody tried to post. They tried to do a GoFundMe. They were saying she's a fraud. So this is a fraud right here. Scam. That's what he said. Scamler is not the auntie. Um, he posted a picture. I believe his grandmother. He said, I am grateful to you and for you. And I count it a blessing to see your uh, prophecies being revealed before our very eyes. Everything you told me I'd see if I just keep on living is happening. And while I never thought it'll be this way, I still count all the joy. Hashtag the state's mother. Hashtag uh, grandma's hands. So I believe that's the grandma he was speaking on. Um, let me see what else. Yesterday, this yesterday, midnight. Humility, and on one hand, is staying quiet when you want to speak. Humility, on the other hand, is speaking up when you want to stay quiet. Above all, humility is doing his will, even when you and others disagree. It might cost you family, friends, and even your life, but humble away. Humble yourself, and you can never go wrong. Hashtag a, hum a humble child. I want y'all to take heed of what he just said. To the part where he said immunity on others is speaking up why you stay quiet. When we as men know that this has been going on for a lot of years, we've seen it going with our father, we've seen it going on with our brothers, our, our, our friends, nephews, and so on, grandchildren. You doing God's will to call out the truth. And they always say that the truth shall set you free. But a lot of people will not speak on shit like this or call shit like this out because they'd rather just stay quiet. Because they know if they speak the truth, it might cost you, your family, friends, and even your life. Yeah. How many of you men and even women who call out the bullshit when it comes to family court, these baby mama terrorists, when it comes to uh, child and nation, when it comes to uh, Department of Human Services, and so on, it costs you your friends. Or, or when you try to fight for equal custody, you fall for soul custody because you notice know this, this baby mama terrorist is abusing them verbally, sexually, physically, however. But a lot of them is not going to go against the code and side with you because it may cost them, their family, friends, and even your life. See, this is the problem right here. If you ain't got nothing to live for, if you ain't got nothing, if you ain't got nothing worth dying for, then what's the purpose of living? Ricky Man in the house. What's good, brother? It might cost you your family, friends, and your and even your life. A lot of y'all men who uh, fought against the baby mama terrorists, against this unjust system, y'all. A lot of y'all have lost family. A lot of y'all lost friends. 
Y'all know some friends who even lost their life behind this shit. But I told y'all, a lot of these cats want to stay commercial. They're going to ride go along, get along, train, as long as you get the collection plate, they're not going to call this shit out or they're not going to go so far about it. See, this, this I see, I go how deep and how depth this shit is. Where two children committed suicide because they was going through the abuse sexually, physically, and verbally. Allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly. Because they own mother, Monica Duckworth. And a husband who's a police officer. See, we got to stop worrying about this and spread the truth. For those who are Christian, Christians, Jesus did it. See, a lot of people is not going to side with you because the majority loves evil. Majority, majority loves um, shit like this. That ass go right. Majority, majority of people are, are this. Here I come to save the day. Because it's all about benefiting them in some type of way, shape, or form. You can't make this shit up. I want to give a shout out to XL Pro for the five dollar donation on the cash. Let me say salute. Appreciate you, my brother. You know, um, <laughs> You can't make this shit up. Want to give a shout out to uh, Sergeant Tyson for the dollar forty nine super sticker. Appreciate you, my brother. Let's see, you cannot make this shit up. If this situation don't have you thinking, then I don't know what it is. That's all I'm gonna tell you. But I told you, this ain't this this ain't nothing new. This shit been going on for a long time. White communities, black communities, Latino communities, and so on. Been going on for a long time. A lot of this shit be hush hush, or it don't it don't get big enough because it's not it's not uh, a big enough news story, you know. But um, let me continue. This is the uh, yeah yeah he was thirteen and nine. Uh, this this is him. Um, he says, our little man, shout out to essential entities for the final donation. He said, we have to save our children. 100% facts. Appreciate you, my brother. Yeah, Renaissance said, what goes on in our house stays in our house. Who heard that before? Yeah, a lot of us has. A lot of us have. <laughs> a lot of us have, man. Now, check this out. Now, he posts this. Let me, can I make it bigger? He posts this uh, 10 hours ago. I guess he wanted to keep talking. He says, matter of fact, she had and abused four kids. The two oldest, me and Nooney, are strange. So they're strange from the Bay Mama Terrace, Monica um, Duckworth. The two youngest, Donnie and Kayla, are dead. So who is the problem? The proof is in the pudding. With that being said, Dad, me, and Nooney, have been prepared to bury Donnie and Kaya, Kaya, I'm going to say Kaya, since last week. We sent over a proposal, but she never replied. In the meantime, we're raising awareness and support of this hashtag double suicide. So they've been reaching out to her over, uh, with a proposal, and she never replied. She's not going to reply. Maybe mom says don't reply, unless it's going to benefit her. She said, rest assured that our GoFundMe is legit. She already tried reporting it this week and they dismissed her claim. Now she is trying to smear, trying a smear campaign. Know that we will remain honest and transparent with all donations. You all have signed up to help us uh, memorialize Donnie and Kaya, and we intend to do just that. More facts of the matter Donnie and Kaya are dead because of her. Donnie and Kaya have not been buried because of her. If you need me, just hit me up. God bless. Hashtag Super Donnie World. Hashtag Kaya the Explorer. Now, she's want to come out trying to report that, you know, dismiss. Um, she's trying to do a Smith campaign. Don't it sound like these Bay Mama terrorists that, um, don't sound like these Bay Mama terrorists when y'all fight in court trying to say, hey, she's abusing our, our, our kids. She's doing X, Y, Z. What happens? 
You try to stay in your name and say, well, you was abusive, you, you was a uh, woman beater, and so on. Uh, that shit crazy. Yeah. So she more worried about trying to keep an image by trying to smear the campaign and lead the kids, the children in the morgue. Ain't that a bitch? Can't make this shit up. Hmm. I want to give a shout out to Mr. O and the Ozone Podcast from Inglewood, Chicago. That is five dollar donation. He said, "Slew Mr. Palmer, Grand Jury." I give you a, I give you a shout out. My last video, bro. Keep cooking these simple forces and, and Bay Mama Terrace 100. Hey, bro, start texting me. You got my number. Start texting me or emailing me your uh, link so I know you be on this shit. Shout out to you, my brother. Shout out to Tola for two dollar donation. He said it's getting cold outside. Ah uh, ah, uh. yeah, it is. Shout out to Tola, man. Yes, Monica. Yep, Monica Duckworth. I tried to find on you on uh, Facebook. I couldn't find her. I couldn't. I don't know who the uh, husband is, but yeah, you can't make this shit up. She worried about trying to redeem her uh, her livelihood back. Trying to make it like it ain't her fault. You know, this is the old picture you posted up on the 28th. This is the older two, younger two. Maybe they, they, they're kind of smiling now, maybe because the mother's not in the picture. This is the uh, daughter, this uh, son. That's them together. Um, he posted, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. John 8, chapter, verse 32. After years of abuse, misery, and trauma, my baby brother and baby sister ended their lives. I can't imagine the pain they suffered the past seven years. We were kept apart. But I'm grateful for the 13 years I had with him and the nine years I had with her. Okay, yeah, I knew I was right. 13 years, he was a uh, 13-year-old uh, little brother and nine-year-old little sister. I hope they remembered how much I love them, and I'm hopeful they knew I was fighting to save them the best way I knew how. I'm thankful for every diaper I changed, shoe I tied, tooth I brushed, tear I wiped, and tummy I tickled. I'm thankful that he chose me to be the eldest brother. It's just me and Nooney now, but the awesome foursome will live on forever. We will never forget them, especially Daddy. Donnie and Kaya will always be our babies. Um, let me read this. Uh, let me see what's on the bottom. Such a tragic end, but God still gets the glory. And it is well with my soul, the eldest. Okay, that was one I read. He pinned it to the top. So that's, let me make sure that's it. Yeah, that's, that's basically it, y'all. That's basically it. This, this right here, like I say, you cannot, you cannot make this shit up. Yep, cannot make this shit up. These, these baby mama terrorists do not love their kid, their children. They hate the father. They hate the father more than they love their children. Shout out to Sergeant Tyson for the five dollar donation. She said, "Props to my grandma Terrace and my new brand coming soon, Red Pill Boot Camp Channel." That's what I'm talking about. Soon as I finished building my studio with a new couch, couch gang, couch gang. Shout out to Sergeant Tyson. See, I want y'all to. I'm before I get off, you know, this YouTube and get back on the couch. I want y'all to see the sad, the pain. The hurt on this picture. The oldest son, the oldest daughter, the youngest son who committed suicide, and the youngest daughter committed suicide. But look who's smiling. Look who's cheesing. Like ain't shit. 
the devil's son-in-law, the Bay Mama Terrace. Appreciate you, Lisa D. See, and I and, and of course, you know, she's a school teacher. Uh, her husband, a police officer. She wouldn't do nothing like that. Why would you do something like that? No, they just they just did it because they just didn't like being disciplined. They didn't like they didn't like the uh, you know. Uh, her, her not getting them everything they want. They just a spoiled breast. That's why they did it. So now she got to try to fix her image before she let the body be released and everything. And that's why I say, Denzel, speak for Malcolm X. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run them up. See, these, I told you, these, these baby mama tears do not love their children. They can take all the pictures in the world. Yeah, she's a school teacher. She's still a school teacher. She can, she can, she can do all the pictures in the world. She can give them a bunch of money. She can buy them everything they want. These baby mama tears do not love their children. And the father fought to for nail. He went to the courts. He went to the police station. He went to the school boards. And ain't none of them believed him. These older two survived, and they was able to run away free. And because of that, they were alienated as well from seeing the two little ones for seven long years. And while they going through this, she's this. I tell you, these baby mama, I'm telling you, these baby mama tell you, ain't shit. Shout out to Tola once again for the two dollars donation. This is a war we're going to win. Salute to you, my brother. <laughs> This is why I'm so adamant when I say that men need to come together as a whole. These so-called men are not going to side with you just like the police officer husband. See, he's one of them simple force. They'll say, no, nah, you just didn't want to be a father. And I, 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 I my, my uh, mama raised me and told me that, you know, me ain't shit. And I'm going to be around regardless. See, and these baby mama tears all got some type of psychological issues going on mentally and everything else. We saw that in the suicide uh, when it comes to mother and daughter's relationship. So, you know, like I said, all this shit, you can look up yourself with the CDC and everything, but I know a lot of, a lot of y'all not because you don't want the truth to come out. And I know you can't handle the truth. I get it. She the only one smiling. This is why I say you got to keep your veins cold because you're going to face a lot of turmoil, ridicule, shaming, hate, false allegations, false lies, and everything else. This is why I say what I tell you because you'll fuck around and want to commit suicide yourself for all the bullshit that you're taking and doing and going through. Can't make this shit up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my ass back on the couch. This is a sad situation, but this ain't the only baby mama tell is gonna be exposed because it's gonna be another one's gonna be ex exposed. Uh, Al Karen out here with a TikTok, got a social media presence, but behind the scene, she's a baby mama terrorist and she's married to officer and uh it's a lot of it was a lot of verbal child endangerment sexual abuse and mental abuse going on with her with her kids her children so yeah these motherfuckers will be exposed but y'all look at this picture man take heed to this shit that's why a lot of times you cannot judge the book by the cover we have to do our due diligence to find out who we're dealing with because if we don't, you'll be going through something like this. Now, I know a lot of y'all children ain't committed suicide, but it's just as bad because they're living in the, uh, a house of misery, turmoil, toxic, and ain't nothing they can do about it because either they're too manipulated to think shit, shit ain't wrong, or they're going through it and they're scared to speak up. And ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody, they, they don't want to listen. They just say, oh, uh, I don't believe you because she's a nurse, she's a doctor and, all, and and so on. You know, 
Uh, before I go, I want to say, you know, if you got the risk of um, of yourself or someone else, you know, uh, here's the number. Real talk. 1-800-273-8255. Y'all need to take heed to this picture. When I say these Bay Mama Tears are the devil's son-in-laws, they're the devil's son-in-laws. Well, Mr. Palmer, at this conversation, it's over. Like, share, subscribe. You can't make this shit up. Fuck child support. Peace. Baby mama terrorists. BMT. Is my baby mama terrorist? Almost y'all support. Can't see my kids. So I stay in cold. It's my baby mama She be riding Lexus. Find the sugar daddies. And doing setups. Mm. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. I'm on child support. Po. Can't see my kids. kids. So I stay in cold. Po. It's my baby mama. She be riding Lexus. Lexus. Find the sugar daddies. Ooh. And doing setups. Mm. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. I'm on child support. Po. Can't see my kids. kids. So I stay in cold. Po. It's my baby mama. Terrorist. She be riding Lexus. Lexus. Find the sugar daddies. Mm. And doing setups. Wow. It's my baby mama. Here I'm on child support. Can't see my kids. So I stay in cold. It's my baby mama. She be riding Lexus. Finding sugar daddies. And doing setups. Riding around, gotta play the role. It's innocent with an evil soul. In public, when fake hair lows. Behind closed doors, she rock them horns. I moved on, she wanna teach me a lesson. Can't see my kids, man, man, I'm stressing. Couldn't see my son to give me his present. She got married to teach me a lesson. Telling people she did nothing wrong. Knowing that well since I moved on. Thought that money would keep me home. Hell not, nah, hell not, nah, bitch, I'm gone. I don't know what you lost your mind. I say my name, but I know your kind. Saying I'm a deadbeat, bitch, you lying. Fighting in court, man, man, I'm trying. To be a father to my kids. She focus on the wrong shit. Worried about another being instead of us called co-parent. Put my kids in grown folks' business. Tell them last bitch, bitch, you wicked. Split personality, oh yeah, you twisted. Never thought I'd go through this. It's my baby mama. I'm on child support. Can't see my kids. So I stay in cold. It's my baby mama. She be riding Lexus. Find the sugar daddies. And doing setups. It's my baby mama. I'm on child support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in cold. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in cold. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. It's my baby mama, almost y'all support. Can't see my kids, so I stay in cold. It's my baby mama, she be riding Lexus, finding sugar daddies, and doing setups. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you think, bitch. Truth is what it is.